So, fellas, obviously at UFC 3 and 9, John Jones went out and beat Steve Miocic. And the rightful fight to make next that most MMA fans want to see is John Jones versus Tom Aspinall, the interim champion. But there are some MMA fans out there advocating that Alex Pereira should be next, saying that Alex Pereira should be next for John Jones. And this is the fight to make next, and it makes a lot of sense. And I, as an MMA fan, I really don't get it. I mean, you've got John Jones who's mentioning Alex Pereira at nearly every single media day opportunity he's been given. Even on Twitter early this year, he kept saying how he wants to fight Port on after Steve Amy Orchard. It's, just, it's a fight that just keeps getting mentioned. And don't get me wrong, it would be a big fight, but I think this is a horrible fight to see as a fan. I don't think it makes any sense to make right now. There is zero logic behind this matchup, and I just think this would be a horrible fight overall, and I'm going to discuss why. And it's not even the fact that John Jones is advocating for this matchup and saying that he wants to fight Alex Pereira that's the, the biggest issue, in my opinion. It's the likes of Joe Rogan advocating for this matchup at every single given opportunity. Like, it seems like every single John time John Jones wins or Alex Pereira wins, he immediately matches them up against each other as if this is the fight to make next. Like, for example, when Alex Pereira knocked out Yuri at UFC 303, he kept mentioning to John Ack and DC about how this is a fight that he'd love to see. And he says, you know, why not move Porton up to the heavyweight division to face John Jones? Despite at this time, Tom Aspinall being the interim champion after knocking out Sergey Pavlovich. And fast forward to UFC 309, he's mentioning Alex Pereira before Tom Aspinall. Now, even John Jones said that he's got negotiations for the heavyweight division. And rather than thinking about Tom Aspinall in the heavyweight division, he's mentioning Alex Pereira moving up to the heavyweight division and kind of sidelining Tom Aspinall as just an afterthought. And he kept discussing to DC and Anik afterwards about how he wants to see Alex Pereira versus John Jones. And it's kind of crazy that if you take away all the name value, you've got a champion with an interim champion in his division, an interim champion with a defense, and Joe Rogan saying that John has options as if Aspinall is just another up-and-coming contender that hasn't really proved himself and... John Jones has got all these options to pick from and I don't blame Joe Rogan to be fair he commentates like one event every month or one every couple of months if it's in a, a location outside of America and if you look at his like fight at fight um, watch alongs that he does on YouTube you can kind of see how out of touch he is with the UFC in the current space of MMA like imagine if Yair Rodriguez had a defense on his interim belt and he was undefeated and Ale uh, Alexander Volkanovsky just completely rejected the fight with him and said no or if Francis Ngannou refused to fight Cyril Gama and Cyril Gama's interim champion because he wanted to fight Glover the share the light heavyweight champ for some sort of a legacy fight. I just think this is a horrible fight to make, and I don't think any MMA fan should be pushing this fight at all, even though it might be fun kind of from a stylistic perspective and kind of like for a fantasy matchup. I don't think this fight makes a lot of sense, and it's not even like Alex Pereira has cleared out the light heavyweight division, and it's an obvious move to go up to the heavyweight division. He's still got Ankh Live to deal with, in my opinion. Ankh Live deserved the title shot. He beat Uzdemir, he knocked out Johnny Walker, he beat Nikita Kralov, he beat Rakic, he beat Smith. I think he should have beaten Jan Blachowicz as well. I think Alex Pereira versus Ankalaev is like, in my opinion, at least the last fight you can do for Alex Pereira in the light heavyweight division before he starts thinking about heavyweight. It needs to happen. It's the toughest test, in my opinion, for Porton in the light heavyweight division. And I don't know why people are sidelining Aspinall as if he's this boring contender. The dude has finished every single fighter that he's had in the UFC, most being in the first round with only Orlovsky making it to the second. He's got the shortest average fight time in UFC history. He's got the shortest bottom position time. He's got the highest striking differential in the UFC right now. He won the interim belt by knocking out Sergey Pavlovich and defended the interim belt by knocking out Curtis Blades just so John Jones could go and have his legacy fight with Steve Miocic, which we all saw how that went down. It was a it was an embarrassment of a title fight. Even Tom has been now waiting as the backup at that event. He was doing media, he's doing all sorts of stuff at the event and leading up to the event. It was in the crowd and everything. And we're still talking about John Jones refusing to fight Aspinall. I think this is the obvious fight to make next for John Jones. I think if Jones doesn't want to fight Aspinall, strip him from his heavyweight belt, take the heavyweight belt from John Jones, give it to Tom Aspinall, and then John Jones can go fight Alex Pereira at 205 or have his fun fights with Derek Lewis and Jamal Hill or whatever he wants to do. And I don't understand why he's acting as if Aspinall isn't exciting and Porton is. Don't get me wrong, Porton's exciting. But half of his career has been in the middleweight division, and one of them was where he got knocked out by Izzy. And then the other half was in the light heavyweight division. And you've got Tom Aspinall, who's just been on a run in the pure heavyweight division, which John Jones has been bulking up for the three years. And I find that ironic how John spent three whole years bulking up to the heavyweight division. At least that's what he told us. He spent three years bulking up to the heavyweight division. He finally gets there, and now he's already trying to move back down to light heavyweight. Just two quick kind of, you know uninteresting fights later. He's already trying to move back down to the light heavyweight division. And it isn't the first time we've seen this. We saw it when Ngarni was the champion. Jones refused to fight him in 2020 because he was bulking. Didn't want to fight him in 2021 because he was bulking. Didn't want to fight him in 2022 because he was bulking. And then coincidentally in 2023, the second that Ngarni goes to PFL or leaves the UFC uh, to go box, John Jones is now back in the UFC and he's ready to fight. I found that ironic as well. 
And I kind of worry about the state of the heavyweight division if John Jones and Aspinall doesn't go down because who is Aspinall going to face? The winner of Garn and Volkov? I mean, Garn's 0-2 in title fights and Alexander Volkov has already been demolished by Tom Aspinall. Maybe Jelton Almeida, but he's been finished by Curtis Blades and he's had one of the most boring performances recently in heavyweight history. I feel like it's got to be John Jones against Tom Aspinall. Um, if it, you know, I feel like that's the only fight we can really make. And if, it, if we are going to see John Jones versus Alex Pereira, I, I don't mind this fight if John Jones can go out there and beat Tom Aspinall and Alex Pereira can beat Ankh Alive because if they both do that, they've both kind of cleared out the division and this is the next super fight you can make in the UFC. They both had a lot of momentum. There's not really any other option for both of them. I like this fight a lot, but I'm hating this new thing that we do in the UFC where we always force these double, double champ matchups. Like the second somebody wins a belt, we're always hypothetically talking about what if they were to move up a weight class and fight this guy and it's kind of been a lot like forced a lot recently and I feel like John Jones versus Alex Pereira I don't think this is competitive in the slightest I don't think this would be competitive it's not a nail biter like Aspinall versus Jones or even Islam versus Ilya Tapori this isn't competitive Porton's got to be the worst wrestler out of every champion or one of the worst wrestlers out of every current champion he got taken down by easy he got dominated by Jan Blachowicz even Yuri Vraska was able to take him down and you put him in against John Jones who in his most recent fight swept Stipe off his feet and dominated him for the first round of their fight took down Cyril Garn effortlessly submitted him in a round and that's not even to mention all the work he's done in light heavyweight division all the wrestling background and grappling, grappling backgrounds he's had in his MMA career I don't think this would be a close fight. I think John Jones beats Alex Pereira pretty comfortably. I think he'd take him down in a round and submit him. Jones isn't stupid. He's not going to stand with Alex Pereira like an idiot. Um, I just don't really see the hype for this fight. Unlike Tom Aspinall, who's got the dangerous hands. He's knocking out every heavyweight he gets put against. And he's also got grappling. He comes from a grappling background. He's got great wrestling. I think he's got 100% takedown offense and defense rate as well. So Aspinall versus Jones, it's such a competitive fight. I'd say it's fairly 50-50. I'm leaning towards Aspinall, but I'd say it's 50-50. Maybe Alex Pereira might sell a few more pay-per-views because as of right now, Alex Pereira is a bigger name. But why do you care about pay-per-view sales? If you Like Dana White should be the only dude caring about pay-per-view sales. And even Dana White himself has gone out and said that he'd rather see Tom Aspinall versus Jones than Jones versus Alex Pereira. And I actually say, apart from maybe Conor McGregor fights and Islam versus Teporia, Tom Aspinall versus John Jones is the biggest fight you can make in the UFC. I think this will be the biggest fight you can make in the UFC. You've got the greatest of all time in John Jones versus the best heavyweight right now in Aspinall. You've got the undisputed champion with a defense versus the interim champion with a defense. You've got Jones who's undefeated in the UFC and Aspinall who's undefeated in the UFC. I know they've both lost, but one was an injury and one was a DQ to a fight he was dominating. You've got Jones with the most UFC title wins, but Tom Aspinall's still a favorite. You've got the old generation versus a new generation. You've got a guy who's beat three generations of fighters versus a guy who's beat five current ranked heavyweights in the top 10. This is the fight to make. Jones versus Aspinall. I think it'd have so much hype behind it. It'd have such a good build-up. It's a 50-50 fight. I think it'd be one of the biggest pay-per-views you can make in the UFC right now. And there's been a narrative going around that Aspinall's only big in the UK. Well, I think that kind of got, you know, debunked after at the UFC 3 on press conference in Madison Square Garden, where Aspinall chants were all over the place. People were cheering for Tom Aspinall, actually booing John Jones out of Tom Aspinall. Um, and I just don't really see the hype between Jones and Porton. It's not a fight that I think should happen. I think it could be a good fantasy matchup down the line. Um, and I, you know, I can kind of see why there might be interest. But as of right now, I don't think this should actually go into fruition. Now, the reasons why John Jones, in my opinion, should fight Tom Aspinall and not Alex Pereira. First reason is it's the second biggest fight in the UFC right now, in my opinion. I'd say it's the biggest fight in heavyweight history. John Jones versus Tom Aspinall. I think this would be the biggest fight in he heavyweight mixed martial arts history. Bigger than Ngannou versus Stipe. Bigger than Jones and Stipe. Bigger than Ngannou and Cyril Garn. Bigger than any Brock Lesnar fight. I think Tom Aspinall versus John Jones, is it would be the biggest fight we've ever seen in MMA history for the heavyweight belt. Just like Ngannou versus Jones would have been before Jones, you know, publicly ducked Ngannou. Um, beating Aspinall does wonders for his legacy. People will remember as Jones as a duck if not. If John Jones can beat the best heavyweight in the world that everyone says he's going to smoke him and he's ducking in Tom Aspinall, that's going to do wonders for his legacy. Tom Aspinall's actually a favourite over John Jones, apparently, um, which is kind of crazy to see. And if John Jones can go out there and beat Tom Aspinall, be the guy to beat Aspinall, he's going to be the greatest of all time, undoubtedly. I mean, I'd argue he already is the greatest of all time, but that would add to his legacy massively. And if he doesn't, people are going to remember him for being a duck. His legacy is going to be remembered as being the guy who ducked Tom Aspinall. That's another reason why I think he should fight him. And the third reason, fans want to see it. Even if he does lose to Tom Aspinall, at least he had the balls to fight him. Obviously, we saw at the free on arm press conference and basically anywhere you go on social media regarding the UFC, people want to see John Jones versus Tom Aspinall. It's the fight everybody wants to see. In terms of John Jones versus Alex Pereira, I just don't really have any hype behind it. I don't have any interest in this fight at all. 
Um, and I think for Jones, he should have a retire or fight Tom Aspinall. I think that should be the move for John Jones rather than trying to have these bollocks matchups against random fighters. So Jones versus Alex Pereira. My final thoughts is that it is a horrible fight. I don't understand why this would make any sense right now. I think if it was to fight, it'd be an easy win for John Jones. And it's not like either of them have kind of deserved this matchup right now. Ankalaev got, well, Porton's got to deal with Ankalaev. Jones has got to deal with Aspinall. Get through those guys first, and maybe then we can progress onto a super fight between the two of them. But let me know your thoughts on John Jones versus Alex Pereira. Do you agree that it's a super fight, or do you have the same opinion as me? Thank you for watching.